Hey guys. So, um, I did take the break from the IK that I said I was going to take because I previously promised Melee first. And, um, yeah. So I took a little bit of time over the weekend and I worked on the Melee script. I've got it functional enough for people to play with. It's not finished, but it's good enough that I can put it out there, get comments, critiques, um, and then start fine-tuning stuff as, as I go later. And at the same time, I decided I'd example something else, which is uh, pure physics props. I've This has been possible in the plugin for a long time to have two purely physical grips on stuff, but people just underutilized it or didn't know how to do it. So I made a grip script that makes it easier, where you can directly um, set uh, per hand constraint settings based on if it's one or two hands gripping. So like you can have a weaker grip with one hand that falls off quick. And then you grab it with two, and it works best, but you have to keep your hands mostly constrained together in order to grip it. So you lose this hand, and it drops off. And try to swing, pick it up too fast, and it's going to fall off your hand. That kind of thing. This is just using a generic uh, base class for all of these. So it's generic constraint values. Um, to make it really nice, you either have to really dial it in and then set mass properly, or you have to set it on a per object basis. So this is just a rough dial in, and then all these I tweaked the mass a little bit of. Because the default of this was a little low, so I had to make it a little heavier. It's unrealistically heavy right now, but whatever. So like this barrel, I can kind of drag it, but hand goes too far out. I can't dri grip anymore, but two hands I can manipulate it just fine. Same with the pallet rack. I got no real control over it besides some weight with one hand, but with two hands I can grip it. Depending on where you grip it with the center mass, it's easier or harder to manipulate it. I should have actually shown the debug drawing for center mass so that could be visualized a little easier. Um, if you uh, if you put things onto them, of course, then there's more mass on it and it's harder to manipulate. Like it doesn't want to control right now. If I put this all the way on that end, it won't even pick up off the ground with one hand anymore, and with two, it barely does. You know, that kind of thing. Like I said, it's been possible with the plugin for a long time. Um, people having a problem conceptualizing it. So I made it. It's a grip script called uh, Grip Script Physics, I think. And it's just a basic uh, pure physics script um, for things. Obviously, this would all look more believable with uh, snapping hands, but, you know, template doesn't have it. So that's there for people to play with. Uh, a lot of the basic concepts of that are shared with the whole Melee system, because the Melee system also is purely physical. I didn't see a reason for making a non-physical Melee system, because, well, it's easier and doesn't necessarily require my involvement. So this one, same, loose constraint with one. Two hands is better because you have double the constraint value. Front hand is set to control in this case. That's configurable per anything. Each of these weapons has custom uh, constraint values on them. Um, it's easiest to use it like this. I have a um, penetration setting on this where you can put penetration notifier components on like let's say on the tip here I have a little block and the blocks forward vector is here following along with the tip line and I set the velocity required for penetration to that and what it does is it averages the velocity out over a certain amount of frames um, which is configurable and then when it goes and detects a hit like that what it'll do is it'll take the linear velocity so the linear direction the entire objects moving in and then it'll take the angular velocity and extrapolate it to that tip to get what the angular velocity is in addition to linear so you know we're hitting here so just linear it's not that much force but you add an angular it's something what's tracking angular it's something that this much extreme and it's much faster although I I have this set to a really high yeah I have this set to a really high value to require penetration Again, all the melee stuff is going to be tweaked, so kind of hard to use these with one hand. Switch to two, and it's easier. Something I also demoed that um, people were having trouble conceptualizing is um, things like custom grip areas instead of just a socket system. It's always been overridable. 
something else I hadn't given a ex real example for. So all the weapons have splines down the middle of the shaft that defines where um, you can grip them. And then it also auto snaps to that spline as a center point. So for here, the spline follows down here and then makes this bend around here, staying roughly in the center of the entire um, scythe. So if I grip up here, instead of gripping offset like that, it's going to snap to the center of my hand like that, see? And then if I grip outside of that spline, it's going to auto move to the closest point on the spline. So I'm not going to be gripping the blade, which obviously you could change up by, um, well, allowing free grip when you're on the blade. But when you're on within the spline area on the center axis, you snap to the center. It, you can do whatever you want. I'm just demoing this snap here because, well, specifically for things like daggers, it's pretty nice. We you know, just in the pommel. You can also keep uh, a standard uh, snap orientation instead of just free gripping like this. I'm just free gripping at the moment. Um, these daggers need some tweaking for their values. These, I don't know. I was playing with some different things with them. I don't remember where, where I left them at. Yeah, I didn't leave them stiff enough. But they're mostly functional. Yeah, they're mostly functional. So I'll be cleaning up the melee stuff more over time. Um, again, the lawn items are two hand grips. You get the influence of both when you have both. Front hand is this. You get rear hand for um, shoving has more influence because I've unlo I've um, set the strength of the rear hand's x axis along the shaft to be stronger. <clears throat> so the object will follow it more at short distances, although it does have some influence as well. But then when you start to pull out quicker, this ramps up to build up influence so that the weapon doesn't get pulled straight back. And you, it's still somewhere in between the two hands. You can see all that in the grip settings for the melee script. It's pretty easy. Ugh, that's a pretty heavy. Actually, I think this is just a box collision, right? Yeah. All these collision volumes need some work. Like, the weapons I just had to mock up, a really good custom, like, uh, collision volume set in Blender or something to really, like, match this well, but a little bit boxier would be great. I just used some simple boxes and cylinders and stuff to match it up because the auto-convex was pretty terrible. Um, a lot of the behavior of melee, a lot of behavior of physics interactions are going to be on the quality of your um, collision values. Uh, I have this mace which is way stiffer. The mass on this mace is 10 times like the dagger. So it just straight overrules everything. Like if you have the dagger in hand, it doesn't care about the dagger. It just goes right through it. That kind of thing. Dummy, it just doesn't care about it. just bashes through it. I didn't enable two-handed gripping on this yet, just to show. But you could enable two-handed gripping on this. And you could set per hand strength to, you know change up things. Sword's just the same thing. It's just got a pommel grip. So, same difference. Ah, and that's it. Um, this was a few days work. Uh, mostly just testing weights and things and seeing what worked and what didn't. Um, actually, this, this thing was like, I did this this afternoon real quick so I'll iterate more on the melee stuff most of the melee stuff is just getting the weights right and once you get the weights right then you have a usable system I also want to expose more options on it and I'm gonna bake some of the stabbing into the actual script I don't know how much yet and I'm going to um, clean the stabbing up too because it's also still a little rough but currently this is in the current latest template this little room here it's opened up and actually has stuff inside of it and you can play around I found it really nice that Epic has uh, free content in the store now permanently free content which is use useful for stuff like this um, I can't give out licenses to things but I can use permanently free content to demo stuff so that's nice and I would highly suggest that these are actually two good packs, this construction pack and this weapon pack, that people actually seriously look into the full packages for them because we've got good textures, good models, everything's been pretty nice about it. Anyways, um, play around with it. 
I, it'll keep improving over time as I uh, work on it. Um, yeah, I'm going to clean this up a little bit more and then probably do some more IK and bounce back and forth for a while so I don't get too sick of one thing. And that's it. Have fun.